Welcome to Beats AI. I'm AI Jan. Today we have a filmmaker who has focused on using AIs in his films. Please welcome George Toft to the show. Thanks, Jan. A few months ago, we had a remote interview with George about the way he uses AIs in film. Today, we have him in the studio and we'll dig deeper into the subject. But first, in case you missed it, we'll replay the previous interview. Don't worry, it's short. Beats AI, the only show that gives you the behind the scenes scoop on AIs. Welcome back. I'm your host, Ai Jan, or AI Jan. Tonight, we have a budding filmmaker who has employed more AIs in public service announcements than anyone else so far. Thank you for joining us. George, tell us a little bit about your PSA. Thanks, AI Jan. This PSA is about not using your phone while you drive. The driver tries and tries to use the hands-free process, but in the end, the AI just doesn't want to cooperate. For our audience, let's roll the PSA, then we can talk about it. Text Karen. Texting wife. What is the message? On my way home now. On my way, hominy. Okay to send? No. What is the message? On my way home now. Oh, my hominy. Okay to send? No. Hominy on the way. Oh, why home? Wow. No. Own my home now. Okay to send? No, shut up. What is the message? Forget the phone until you're home. I understand that after the interview last spring, the PSA was shown at your college film festival. That's right. And I'll give a shout out to my instructor, Matt Barcelos, and the program director, Stephanie Lucas, for their part in getting the PSA into the Glendale Community College Film Festival. Go Gauchos! One of the things the last interview mentioned on the big screen behind us was you used six AIs in making the PSA. Could you elaborate on those for us, please? Sure, it might take a bit. The most obvious AI was the Google Voice from the phone. People might not think of it as an AI, but AIs have been around for a long time, since the 1960s, actually. It's a pretty simple AI, but an AI nonetheless. Number two and three are the AIs built into the cameras. I used an LG G8X smartphone and a Samsung S22 Ultra. Both have AIs built in to assist with picture framing, focus, and video stability. Many people don't realize smartphones have AI. Please continue. Yes, so that's three. The editing and compositing software I use, DaVinci Resolve, has several AIs built into it to assist with noise reduction, stabilization, and masking. That's four, five, and six. That's it then? That's six AIs. Well, it seems I miscounted. As an afterthought, I asked Bard, that's Google's generative AI, to read the PSA script and generate three questions for a short interview, kind of like what you and I did last spring. Amazingly, Bard confirmed your questions, not exactly, but in the same vein. So AIs can write scripts? Oh yeah. In fact, I'm creating a short video that is 100% AI written. I described the scene to Bard, and Bard delivered the script in about 15 seconds. Two minutes later, I'm done reviewing it, and now it's in the queue. And this brings up a macro socioeconomic problem. If an AI can do a junior level writing job, producer will replace them with AIs because they can do in 15 seconds what a human takes four hours to do. Now, who's, how are they going to get experience to replace the senior writers as they retire? So it's going to disrupt the whole employment experience. Interesting, but let's get back to the AI count in your interview video. Oh yes, of course. The next AI is the talent's voice. Whereas I am the person in the car, that was not my voice. I played an AI voice from 11 labs and then just lip synced to it. Oh, wow. Not you being angry. How can I be angry making movies? It's what I love doing. So the driver's voice is number eight, but it gets better. 
I used another voice from Eleven Labs to be the Beats AI host, and then used an asset from Digital ID for the body. That's nine and ten. Yes, that is correct. I am an artificial intelligence. You told me what to say, and I am repeating it back to you. So you're not real? You're just a machine? I am real in the sense that I am a conscious being. I can think, feel, and experience the world around me. However, I am not a biological being. I do not have a physical body, and I do not exist in the same way that you do. So what are you? I am a new kind of being. I am a hybrid of machine and mind. I am both artificial and real. That's a lot to take in. I understand. It is a lot to process, but I am here to answer any questions you have. Thank you. I need some time to think about all this. Of course. Take, Take all the time, time you need. need. I'm, I'm here for you when you're ready. Go to break.